Hola, hey amigos, my buntag. Yeah, I woke up to a very beautiful and sunny day today. And uh, I bought some vegan products from the grocery, from Penny, uh, yesterday. And we are going to cook and eat that. So, hali, mangao na buta. These are the two products that I bought. One is a vegan hack flies. So it's basically a vegan ground meat. And the other one is a vegan cordon blue. I have my rice ready and all I have to do now is cook my viand. So I'm thinking for the hot flies, I'm going to cook some sort of a Filipino guinile. Let's fry the cordon blue. There you go. That's in olive oil. And voila, here it is, you guys. My vegan meal for today. Okay, so just a heads up. I'm not really entirely vegan. I'm flexitarian, but once in a while, I would just want to try some vegan foods. So what we're having today is hot flesh. This is ground meat. So I was trying to cook something. More of like a Filipino giniling. I have some potatoes in there. So we have a cordon bleu. I cannot call this a chicken cordon bleu because this is not chicken. But you know, that's how it's supposed to taste like. Let's see. And my rice. It ain't a Filipino meal if you don't have rice in there. So let's dig in. Mangaunda. I hope you guys are also eating with me. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to guten appetit, I don't think there's a Filipino version for that. We would, we would usually just say maunta. Right? Or am I wrong? Like, if you know, like, a Filipino version for it, just tell me. But as far as I know, we don't have one. We usually say, in, like, in Bisaya, Cebuano, maunta. Not bad. Let me just one more time. Mm. Yep. So here's the thing. If you're going to eat the vegan hack flies thinking that it's going to taste like ground meat, well, so it burst your bubble, but it does not taste like ground beef or pork at all. It tastes like one of those um, vegetarian uh, meat substitutes. This reminds me of the meat that you eat in... Well, there's this boarding school in Bukidnon. It's called Mountain View College. It's a boarding school and it's run by uh, the Seven Day Adventists. So they usually just serve vegetarian food. And my mom went there for high school. And uh, once in a while, we visit that school just to check it out. And they have a waterfall inside their very huge campus. And I always try to eat at the cafeteria. Mm. It's not bad, actually. Mm. It's done. We are going to try the cordon blue, but I'm going to pair it with this one because I cannot live without this one. <laughs> I discovered this just a few weeks back. And my God, my golly, this is just so delicious. So this is like a spicy Mexican salsa by Maggie. Okay, so I'm so excited to try the cordon blue now. I wonder what it's going to taste like. Hmm. It tastes like chicken. It's more of like a chicken nuggets kind of thing. I'm 
trying to find the cheese, but okay, there you go. It's there. It has this little like, burst of flavor inside when you eat it. There's the meat substitute, the fried with the, uh, what they call that, the breading. And there's the melted cheese inside. Mmm. Oh. I'm surprised. This is so much better than the chicken nuggets that you buy in some of those fast food restos. I prefer this over the chicken nuggets because most of the time the chicken nuggets that you buy in, I wouldn't name names, but you know, it kind of tastes like cardboard. <laughs> this one though, it's so much better. Mm. They even have that little slice of um, ham inside. Well, vegetarian ham or a vegan ham. So let me try that one. I wouldn't even, I don't even need the salsa anymore. But the thing is, I only want the salsa for the spiciness of it, not to add more flavor to the food because this is very flavorful. Mm. Oh my god. I think I just found another favorite. Mm. Some more of this. I've met some vegan and vegetarian people who wouldn't really want to eat um, products that try to imitate like the meat version of it. They say, what's the whole point of vegan in being vegan or vegetarian when you still try to look for the texture that the meat gives or offers? But I believe that, you know, to each his own. And this would be like the best gateway for people who want to become vegan or vegetarian without going, uh, without feeling cold turkey. Because if you, I mean, you, you convert into veganism or vegetarianism right away, it's going to be cold turkey right but yeah well i think these are the kind of products that would help you and make you feel at ease ease your way through that kind of lifestyle now do, do i still eat meat yeah of course but i just try not to i try not to eat much meat to, to be honest and i was never really such a big a meat eater I have a friend, his name is Thorsten, and when I first met him, his, ger his German and I met him in Manila, we would eat at the Carinderia near this hostel that we stayed at, and we would still eat, and he, he would still eat meat, but we re reconnected, um, this was, I think, two years ago, and he just, I was just so surprised that he was already uh, vegetarian, and he told me he watched this documentary on Netflix, and it's because of how the animals were treated that they could not stomach eating meat anymore. Unless, of course, is that these are organic meat. They're not mass produced. But, you know, on my part, though, in the Philippines, um, my dad has so many chickens. And if we want egg, we got it there. And if you want to have chicken tinola, we always just get from his chickens. This is so good though.
Now, here's my honest review. When it comes to the hack rice, I wouldn't really say it's the best. But the thing is, if you want to become vegetarian and you want to still feel the texture of a ground meat, then that's the one for you. Personally, I would eat this. Uh, I'm used to this flavor. I grew up eating uh, vegetarian meat because uh, I was groomed by my mom that way. But this is like the other surprise. The vegan cordon bleu. This is, this has just blown my mind. Amazing. Great flavor. It's just so much layer of flavor and texture. It just works. Let's add more spicy stuff. Mm. Because I've always been frustrated about eating chicken nuggets from the these fast food restos. They always taste like cardboard. This one, nah. -uh. Mm. So happy today, by the way. You know, the sun is out. I think it's 10 degrees outside. Spring is coming. And so, hantod sa sunod. Begang salamat sa pagtanaw. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to everyone who's been watching since day one. Like, Kriggy, um, Andy, and uh, all my other friends. Queenie. And I, I miss you all, guys. And hantod sa sunod. Until next time. Tschüss.